Manoa Benjamin was one of the least recruited running backs coming to a Big Ten school. Well, the story is simple. Small town kid never really got a shot. But in his debut in college football, he took one to the house. Congrats to the kid. It's tough to be five foot five, five foot six, be an undersized running back and reach the big time schools. But this kid made it happen. A walk on, he earned it in camp. He really showed coaches what he can do with his amazing speed. And in high school, he's a legend. But will he bring that to the college ranks? Who knows? Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the Purdue Boilermakers Dynasty. In episode one, we got a taste of this team, and especially what we can do versus bad teams in a win versus Indiana State. We won big. Joey Dynamite threw four touchdowns. He was the player of the NCAA player of the week. And not a lot of games were played in week one, but still, that is a big honor, especially for a very young quarterback. The start of our schedule is a lot easier than the rest as we play against Missouri, who is kind of the one of the worst teams in the SEC, and then Nebraska, who right now isn't necessarily a great team in the Big Ten either. Now, today we get the Missouri matchup, and they have some pretty good players. They have Batty at running back. Uh, they have Jeff Coat at defensive end and Kobe Whiteside up the middle. So they are a pretty good football team, but in terms of like the elite SEC teams, they're still lacking behind, but they match up well with us. So we will see in this series if we will start 2-0 today with our first FBS opponent. Here we go. Let's get this game underway as Wilson kicks this one off. Missouri will start out with the Rock Cooper. We'll take it back to the 29-yard line. And here we go. Now, we'll see if we can play good defense like we did in the first game as Missouri starts out with the ball. And they're going to really give the ball to Batty quite a bit. That's going to be their game plan. So we really got to watch out for him today as he is going to be a focal point of this offense. And here is a nice stop on third down, and that is a drop, but I don't think that was really a drop. I think that hit off of an offensive lineman. So here comes Purdue with the rock. So here we go, starting out this drive after the Manoa Benjamin return. Here comes the offense out onto the field. Here is Joey, Joey Dynamite throwing across the middle. That one's going to be caught by Kane Cooper across the middle. Number 81 led us in receiving yards in game number one. Here's a handoff to Ray Ray Ledwell. He gets stopped in the backfield as that brings it to a third and four. Dynamite under center this time. Has time to throw. He will lob this one down the right sideline. And this one's caught by Ledwell. Out of the backfield. What a throw by Dynamite away from the defender to the sideline in a place where only his man can get it. It's a first down. So just about at the 50, here's a throw to the sideline. That one is a catch. And remember, Wilson caught the first uh, touchdown catch and uh, had the first reception of this series as he's hurt on that play. But here's a throw across the middle. That's Manny Chuz. That one will be a catch and another first down for this Purdue offense. Jaw play up the middle. That is King Daru, but he gets stopped behind the line as Sean Robinson is shaken up here for Mizzou. Manoa Benjamin checks in at running back now. Here's Dynamite throwing across the middle. This one's caught by Cooper. He gets around the defender and gets about a gain of 10, but they will actually rule him short of the first down marker. And we will go for it here, fourth and inches. Dynamite throws across the middle. He was looking for Wilson. It somehow ends up in the hands of Cooper. It's a first down. So now we're inside the five, under center. Dynamite tries to get out of the pocket. He cannot escape the pressure. It's a sack by Wilson. And look at our right tackle, just absolutely getting abused on that play. Play action fake now. Here is Dynamite, buying some time now. He stops and throws this one. It's caught by number 87, Tyrese King for the touchdown. And the backup tight end gets his first touchdown reception of his career. Good throw by Dynamite, and we make it a 7-0 after a very long drive. 
So here is Mizzou backing onto the field. They're going to pitch it to Batty, but look who's out there. Number 91, Jake Sherman, who is our nose tackle. He is very, very mobile for a big guy as well. Bazlik throws across the middle. This one's going to be caught by Bannister. What touch on that throw, getting over the top of the linebackers right there. So here they go at their own 40 this time. Looks like they're changing the play at the line now for a second and eight. Are they trying to run some clock here? Play action fake. Throw it across the middle. Wide open man. That one is dropped by Boye. As that brings it to a third and eight now at their own 40. Baslick throws across the middle. This one's caught by Cooper, but a great tackle by Tommy Gunn. And that will force the punt as we start the second quarter with the Rock. So here is Dynamite back out onto the field for a third and long. This time he tries to get rid of it. It's a sack on the one yard line. And it looks like they will mark us down at the three, but we'll have to punt this one away. But Thompson in the punt. I did not mean to have him in. And look at this punt. It is absolutely terrible. Look where it sets them up with field position. Not the ideal start on defense here for Purdue. But we'll see what we do on this drive. So Baslick throws across the middle. This one's caught by Cooper, and he will get inside the 10. And he's three for six on this game here at the seven-yard line now. Hand off to Batty. He shows some patience. He gets through the hole into the end zone for the touchdown. Missouri capitalizes on this short field, and they get in. And it is now a tie ball game at seven apiece. So here's Manoa Benjamin into the game. He is our fastest player on the entire roster. He picks up a gain of seven on that counter play. Ray Ray Ledwell checks back into the game, and somehow that pressure does not get picked up, and that was a third down, so we had to punt this one away already. So a three and out as Missouri comes back and onto the field. Here's a quick throw, and that one's almost picked off by Tommy Gunn somehow getting over his hands I have no idea how he missed that interception. It's a first down Mizzou now at the 42. Basilic now in the shotgun. He throws to the sideline. This one's caught by Parker, taken down by Clyde Washington, along with Clint Sears. As now they're at the 49 here, second and one. Fake pitch this time, Basilic. He throws deep, one on one, and this one is almost picked off by Sears. And now here we go, third and one. A big stop could go a long way here, but it's going to be a first down by Batty. He picks up about a gain of five. It's pretty loud in this stadium. We don't have a uh, toughest place to play number 25, top 25 ranked yet. But here is an option play, and this one's taken away by Caraway. I'm not sure what happened if he just slapped the ball out of his hands, but... It looked like that's what happened. He just ran into him, and the ball falls on the ground. Jermaine Caraway with the force and the recovery is now here we are back onto the field. Deep shot. This one's caught by Wilson. First down for the slot receiver, Josh Wilson. He was shaken up earlier, but he is good now, and he goes up and makes the play. That's a big-time gain. We're inside the red zone now. Just about two minutes to go. Dynamite play action fake. Throw across the middle. He threads the needle with the touchdown. Colin Bryant, number 84, gets in. That throw had to be perfect, and it was on time. Wow, just out of the outstretched hand of the defender. 14-7 to Purdue. So here is Batty now. This time throws on the run, and it's a halfback pass. It's caught by Chisholm. It's going to be a first down. Back in these NCAA 06 games, 07, I believe, they stopped really doing it. The halfback pass is definitely a thing. So here's Baslick this time in the pocket. Throws to the right side. This one is pressure off the edge by number 15, Jason Walker. Is now here is Baslick again. And he gets to him for the second straight play. Look at this. Just the arm over move, and he just gets the right tackle. And how about number 15, Jason Walker? Two straight impact plays. So here is Dynamite this time. Back it onto the field, throwing. He lobs this one over the top of the defender. What a great throw to Kane Cooper. It's a first down. And now we're at the 44-yard line. Just about a minute to go here in the first half. Just trying to put together some points here. Here is Dynamite. Looking to buy some time. He throws this one deep into traffic. And it's almost caught, but picked off instead. 
Kane Cooper went up and got it and knocked off of his hands and into the hands of the defender. Wow, that's very unfortunate. I mean, Kane Cooper had the position to make that catch. It just bounces off of his hands. And now Mizzou takes back over after the turnover. Down by seven. Now they have 50 seconds to go here to score before halftime. But on the first play, look at this. It's Jake Sherman. I mean, this kid is electric. On third down and second down, it's Jake Sherman and Jason Walker both get after the quarterback. Tristan Wynn as well, all three of those guys. So here's Dynamite now. This time, rolling to left side. He throws to the, over the top of the defender, and he will find just in time. That is a great throw. And look at this, the left tackle. Look at the blocking. This is why you love the old NCAA football games. They will go back and block people like, you know, real life blocking should be. So here is Dynamite this time. Throwing to the right side, and that's a diving catch, and that's Kane Cooper for another catch. And another first down. And right here from this spot, we will actually not take any risks. We will line up to kick the field goal, and that's how this one goes in the half. Second half action underway now as Ray Ray Ledwell is back to receive this kickoff, and he will take it to about the 30. And here we go. A five-yard penalty. Actually, we are took it back to the 25, back to the 19 now for a first and 15. The first throw is going to be Ray Ray Ledwell, who's going to line up all over the field. Second and nine play this time. Play action fake to Ledwell. We're going to air this one out deep to Colin Bryant. And this one is dropped in a bucket over the top of the safety. It's a touchdown. What a throw to Colin Bryant. And you got to love these games back on the PS2. Those throws aren't made like that anymore. It is 24 to 7. So here is Missouri back out onto the field. Oh, here's a deep shot. Wide open, Cooper. He burns our defense and gets behind number 21. And that is going to be an awesome throw right there for the first down. As now they're at the 33-yard line now. Here's Basilic. Hand off to Batty. And this one will be about a loss of one maybe at the 34 now. Basilic in the shotgun. He's got four wide receivers out there. He's going to run out of time. It's Jason Walker getting to the quarterback. And an awesome sack. Walker has made such a big impact on this game. You can already see the potential with our pass rush through the first two games. So here's Dynamite on the next drive. Here's a throw to the left side. Colin Bryan gets absolutely tattooed. He fumbles out of bounds, though, for a third and three. Here's Dynamite rolling to the right side. He had pressure, but he's got the speed to get out of the pocket. He gets tackled from behind at about the 28. So here is Dynamite. Play action fake now. He's going to move to the left side and throw that way, and he's got Justin Time who will dive for it for the first down catch. And now we're at about the 40-yard line here. This time it's a third and nine. Here is Dynamite this time. He's got Colin Bryan wide open, and this time... He misses them. He just airs this one out. That one goes out of bounds. He missed a big opportunity right there. So Baslick back out onto the field now. Play action fake now. He's going to throw this one deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage. And he's got Chisholm. That's going to be a first down throw. Floyd E. Luther was in coverage. It's going to be a first down. Here's a pitch reverse this time to Dove. And he's going to go down. Clyde Washington Seven tackles today. Baslick now under center this time. Throws across the middle. This one's tipped and it's going to be picked off. It's Clyde Washington again. C.J. Anderson Alexander with the tip. C.J. Alexander the second with the tip. And then Clyde Washington with the sliding interception. So here we go. Oh, good, great block on the outside. Just in time, we'll get around the edge for about a gain of 15 design screen on that play Ray Ray Ledwell big time hole up the middle and he picks up about a gain of 15 for his longest run of the day 24-7 comfortable lead now handoff oh Ray Ray Ledwell good move to get around the defender that time and get under that tackle and now we get it to the 30 it's a third and one Here's Dynamite throwing to the right side. It's Manny Chuz who has it. The defender had his back turned for just like slightly a minute. 
a second, actually. Look at this. Like, the defender had no idea, like, the ball was coming that way. That's why you got to love these era of video games. It's now first and ten. Here is uh, Cooper Morales in the game. And he takes the left side. The hesitation for the touchdown. Eric Cooper Morales, who was actually our third string quarterback. Just look at this. Just the hesitation, the pause, wait for the block. And it looked like number 24 didn't know how to react to that. It's a touchdown. Baslik back out onto the field, but this one looks just about over. Here's a throw to the sideline. This one's caught by Bannister. It's a first down throw. And now with a comfortable lead here, about three minutes to go here in the fourth. Mizzou just trying to get anything on the board. Here's a throw deep. Uh-oh, this should be it. And it goes through their hands. I don't know what that was, but I don't know. Grant Venom had a surefire interception, and he just misses it. Third down throw to the left side. This one's incomplete. That was actually fourth down, and that will do it here. Purdue will get the victory in this game. And to be honest, like this was a great victory versus a decent Missouri team. That wasn't a bad Missouri team. Obviously, one of the worst teams in the SEC, but we got it done here. And we get a win versus our first FBS opponent, and we start 2-0 in this series. So we beat one FCS team, one FBS team. Ray Ray Ledwell was excellent today. He ran the ball only for 45 yards, 5.6 yards per carry, though. And then he caught a couple of balls out of the backfield. That's exactly what I want to do with him. He's not going to be a guy that's going to rush for 200 yards a game. He's going to have one of those games where he's going to break out. But besides that, like this is kind of the balance I want with him. I want him to be a pass catching back and a guy that can run the ball as well. Kane Cooper was good. Colin Bryant scored two touchdowns, three for 93 for him. He was excellent. Everybody kind of got involved. Our offensive line blocked extremely well. Then on defense, Clyde Washington was great. Two tackles for loss, an interception. Um, Jake Sherman was really, really good. He got in the backfield quite a bit. Three tackles for loss. He didn't get a sack, though, but Jason Walker did. He was disruptive all game. And then our secondary actually didn't do too bad. I mean, there were some throws that we gave up, but it was they were better throws by the quarterback. So I'm not really too worried. So we are 2-0, and and right now we play the 0-2 Nebraska Cornhuskers. And that should be probably, like, the easiest part of our schedule. Like, these first three games, then we will play, you know, teams like Wisconsin, teams like Iowa. That's going to be very, very tough for us in this first year. But this is a good start to this series. We start out right. We get to see our playmakers and who is good. Joey Dynamite puts on another show. I mean, the kid is incredible. We'll see what we can do versus Nebraska. They have an A-minus defense, so it's going to be tougher for us to move the ball today. Or next episode, I should say. Hit subscribe. Hit that like button. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money, I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side, this how we slide. This how we ride, yeah, yeah, this how we ride.